What's up guys, it's Trevor and Embers. Really, really exciting day. We have our Gen 4 PXG demo set. Guess what just showed up? A full set of Gen 5. You heard me right, Gen 5. I'm excited, let's open these out of the box. Let's test them up against the Gen 4s, let's go. All right, Gen 5s. First and foremost, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Tell us what you guys think. Uh, if you're in the Denver, Colorado area, you can come down and get fitted today or come check out our barbecues. We have an awesome showroom down here. You can hit some clubs, whatever you want to do. Look at this Gen 5 stuff. I think this is the iron set. So here's the deal. These are supposed to have a wider or bigger sweet spot and you're supposed to have uh, big gains. Kaboom, baby. That's what PH PXG says. Not what I say, that's what they say. Um, only one way to find out. We're gonna put them in the launch monitor and uh, see if they go further than our Gen 4s. Now these irons have the same shafts as our Gen 4, so it should be a pretty accurate side-by-side -side test. Oh, I'm kinda nervous. We got a set coming in the Elite Black and a set coming in uh, the Chrome. I think these are the black, let's see. Oh, these are my sugar daddies. We know that's coming in the set too, but we already have a video on those, so we're not gonna talk about the sugar daddies today, although they're awesome. If you wanna know about the sugar daddies, check out our video. Here we go. Oh, mama. Look at that. There's a wedge. So we got these little tungsten insets and they're called Black Label Elite. Check that out. Now, for comparison's sake, let's check this out to Gen 4 Black Label. So they both have this uh, adjustable weight in the center here. Then obviously these weights here on the side. Looks like these have a tungsten inset in them. And then you can see the PXG logo is a little bit bigger a little bit different design. Um, these are both the P set, so the player set. I'm an average golfer, so they're kind of built for an average guy like me. Uh, anyways, that's the wedge. Okay, now as a word of caution, I guess not a word of caution. Obviously, I'm not a golf pro. This is not a golf pro review of these clubs. I'm an average golfer. I own this store. We do barbecues and fittings here, but I, have, I love golf. So I'm giving you a review as a common golfer. So that's more of the review angle than this versus a pro. Here's that eight iron, look at that eight iron. How sexy is that? Here's the thing. Here's my biggest question and why I wanna get these in the simulator. Uh, wow. Six iron, baby. Why do I wanna get these in the simulator? I love Gen 4. I think the Gen 4 irons are the best I've ever hit and I just don't know how you can improve on it. So the Gen 4s are really stinking good. That's why I'm really anxious to see if we actually gain any performance with Gen 5 because you can get a super deal on a Gen 4 set. Question is, is are we gonna see any improvement from an average golfer, a guy like me? I would think you'd see more improvement from an average golfer because I'm, we're not gonna be as consistent as like a pro hitting them where they see marginal gains, maybe we'll see big gains. I don't know. It's like working out, you know? At first you see big gains, realize big gains, but I don't know what I'm talking about. All right, let's get these irons out of here. I have a full fairway set too. So we got fairway woods and driver, Gen 5 too. But first let's test the irons. Let's start with the irons. Let's do a test. Then we'll look at the data quick. What club should we try? Most common club I would say is a seven iron. So let's do a seven iron. Now again, for full consistency here, where's my, here's my gen four seven iron. So you can see, got the same shafts in them, identical shafts, and then I have the same club head weights in them. So it should be a very, very accurate test. So let's clear this out and then start with seven shots, or we're gonna do about 10 shots or so with the seven iron. See, that's what I'm talking about. It's kind of hard to beat a Gen 4 
I mean, I, I shanked it left, but 198 yards, Gen 4. What kind of gains are we going to see on a 7 iron? Well, let's get a good average going here. Now, I'm going to beat you guys to it. I know I don't have the best swing. You guys always let me know in the comment section. This is an amateur golf review. I think amateur reviews are helpful because when I'm researching clubs, all I see is professional perspectives, which isn't bad, but it doesn't help me as an average consumer. So I'm a 90s golfer, weekend warrior. Every once in a while, I'll send it and go high 80s, maybe mid 80s on a really good day if I'm tuned up real nice. Again, this is a review from an amateur perspective, but let's keep going. Oh, that one's striped. That one's striped. All right. Let's look at the data. 10 shots. My average is 199, Gen 4, 7 iron. Disclaimer, we are in Denver. Uh, I have this set to Denver altitude, 5,200 5, feet. So my ball's gonna go a little bit further here. Probably sea level, probably lose 15, 20 yards or so. Spin rate about 4,500. That's about kind of where I wanna be with the seven iron. Um, I tend to launch the ball a little bit low, but you can see we have good distance, good spin rate. Um, now let's switch to Gen 5, see what happens. Make sure all of my settings are identical. Woo. I'm nervous. See if we see any gains. I'm also curious if it feels any different off the club face. Oh, that felt great. Look at that thing. Just dead straight. They are higher launching. I don't know what's going on. The shaft is the same, but they're getting up in the air higher and I'm not losing any yardage. 207. <laughs> Holy cow. I don't hit a seven iron 207 yards. All right, now let's compare. So Gen 4, our ball speed, 114 miles an hour, launch angle 17 and a half, 4,400 backspin, carry, I average 178 yards carry and average 199 yardage. Look down here, ball speed, three miles per hour faster, higher launch angle, two degree higher launch angle, that's what you want, a little bit better spin rate, and then check this out, 206, gain seven yards. You know what seven yards will do to an amateur? A lot, that'll shave off a couple strokes. So we increased our ball speed, we increased our launch angle, we increased our backspin, which is what you want on a, an iron, lower iron, and we increased our carry by nine yards, and we increased our total yards. So you can see the ball was running out further with the Gen 4, and we're able to stop the ball a little bit better with the Gen 5. Now again, this is amateur data, and that's real, and that makes a difference. All right, now here come the fairway, fairway stuff. Look at this. Gen 5 driver. I have not even seen what this thing looks like. I have no idea. Ooh, that is clean and crisp. Look at that. Carbon fiber. The whole top of the head is carbon fiber. Now this bottom, pretty clean looking. Let's compare it to the Gen 4. I play the XF because remember, I'm an amateur golfer. There's Gen 4. So they move the weights around. And then the top of the head, there's the difference. Now this, 
what I'm gonna do, I did get different shafts on these. So to make it more accurate, what I'm gonna do is do the fitting or do five with this shot, then I'm gonna put this head on this same shaft. That way we have a good apples to apples comparison. Now I have a feeling this is not gonna be quite as accurate as I want it to be because that seven iron, I'm pretty consistent with. Driver gets a little squirrely, so I might not have good apples to apples shots where I'm consistent with my ball striking. All right, five more. Okay, Gen 4, 137 miles an hour. Backspin, just okay. See my carry and yardage is not that great. Definitely not the most consistent with my driver. Okay, ball speed. Gain five miles an hour on our ball speed. Check this out. Carry 240, total 267. So we averaged 267 uh, with our other guy, 252. So we gained 15 yards and that's me being pretty inconsistent. So I'm your amateur golfer. Um, man, I'm sweaty. Whew. Let's just take a peek at some of the other clubs quick. Here's the deal, is you could talk about being a salesman or you know we, we like to sell PXGs and we'd rather sell Gen 5s, whatever the case may be. The data is the data. I mean, I gained speed in my ball speed. Every, in every stat, the data was better with Gen 5. It just was. We got seven wood. That's sexy right there. And then check this out. I got a new hybrid. Here's the hybrid. Look at that. How sweet is that? So there's the Gen 5. I don't have time to, to demo each one. If you guys want to see more statistics versus Gen 4, let me know and I'll do side-by-sides comparisons. That's the Gen 5. The Gen 5 is better. The data is better. It's a better club. It's going to improve your golf game. It's worth it over Gen 4. That being said, if you can't swing, no pun intended, man, I'm hot. If you can't swing a, gen, a set of Gen 5s financially, Gen 4 is still some of the best iron sets, I think, specifically with their irons um, on the market today. I'd put them up against anybody. But Gen 5 is going to be even better. So no reason not to go Gen 5. Stay tuned for next time.